Buenos dias from Barcelona. We're headed on a six week adventure to India, Nepal, Thailand, and Vietnam. Due to some funky mile redemptions, we got a bonus 24 hour layover in Barcelona. So we are trying to take full advantage. Earlier this morning or last night, we flew from Texas to New York, New York to Barcelona. We're gonna stay here. Then we're flying to Doha tomorrow morning and then on from there. All of this seemed like a brilliant idea at the time. We stepped off the plane at 7.30 a.m. So we're pretty much on autopilot today, but thankfully we booked our two main attractions in advance. I've never been to Spain before, so we have to power through. Okay. Vamos. From the airport, we took the R2 train to our hotel. The great news is that it's basically a 30 minute straight shot from Terminal 2. If you don't arrive in Terminal 2, don't worry, there's a free shuttle. It costs less than five euros per person, and this saved us about 20 to 30 euros compared to getting a taxi. And this is the first thing we saw when we exited the metro station. We are staying at the Alexandra Barcelona Hotel. It's a Hilton property that is centrally located and the rooms are nice. But of course, first stop is to get some coffee. Look at my eyes right now. I look crazy. I think Lauren found one of those cute Instagram cafes. Thank you. Few things feel more quintessential Europe than a delicious pastry and a coffee. This cardamom twist was incredible. Finally getting rid of these euros that I've had for like years in my bag. We just entered Park Gael and now we are walking around and it is beautiful here. I already like it. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. This is my second time coming to Barcelona in this like late February time frame, and it's perfect. I mean, it's a little chilly like in the 60s, but the sun is so bright and so warm, and it's just awesome to just sit out here, sit on a bench, relax, enjoy, take it easy. I'm a happy gal. This place is super cool, picture perfect from every angle, but I'm not really sure what it is. It just is a really cool park with a bunch of cool stone features and a famous architect designed it. That's what I got so far, but Lauren's gonna fill us in. Park IL is basically a park, but it has a lot of really awesome manual architectural elements. This park was designed by Anthony Gotti, the same guy who did La Sangrada Familia, which we're gonna visit next. His style also includes all these really artistic benches, which are so great to just sit and relax on. He was at the forefront of the modernist movement, but it was a unique style that was heavily emphasized by Catholicism. So you see a lot of Catholic elements within the architecture. We made it to the main attraction. This is where everyone gets their photo in Barcelona. It's obviously insanely crowded here and you just gotta kinda go up and ask people to take their photo and then they'll take your photo and everything works out. It's great. It's nice. Let's get out of here. <laughs> And this is what is on the underside of those popular benches. Just as pretty and weightless crowded. This is obviously a very popular attraction, so make sure you buy your tickets in advance. It's picture perfect. Too much. <laughs> Obviously, while we're in Spain, we've got to get some tapas. We are at La Salou. It is a restaurant near Park Gael, but kind of on a side street. It's kind of a no frills establishment. So we got the traditional bread with tomato on it, potatoes bravas, meatballs, a pork skewer over potatoes, and am I missing anything? I think that was it, a tap water, but it was really good. 20 euros all in and definitely worth it. We are refueled and ready to go see La Sagrada Familia. So the wild thing about this cathedral is that it's been under construction for over 140 years and is still under construction today. We're gonna check out the Barcelona icon, La Sagrada Familia, next. Our tickets came with a free audio guide, so we're gonna listen to those now. This place takes everything as a work in progress, very literally, but you can still see all the distinctive features and influence from Gaudi's original vision. This is probably the most popular attraction in Barcelona, so advanced reservations are a must. It cost 80 euro for both of us. It was more than we were wanting to pay, but it was definitely worth it just walking around, learning about the history, and looking at this stunning architecture. Our ticket did include access to the Passion Tower, which we had a scheduled time that we could go up and get beautiful views of the city. We're on top of the Passion Tower. You take this narrow staircase down, and then you get a beautiful view of Barcelona. Passion Tower is a little more adventurous than I thought it would be. It's kind of like hard to see the steps, and it's a little long way down. So, uh, yeah. Now, if 
phone time? Yeah. <laughs> More tapas. We were pretty delirious at this point, so after a quick dinner, we headed back to the hotel to crash. We are headed for our next layover in Doha, and then we continue on for six weeks of travel in Southeast Asia. Please like this video and subscribe to see our upcoming travels. Okay, bye. I'm not a fan of the pigeons.